closing chapter of the war in Europe. Unforgettable moments which must not go unrecorded in our newsreel history of World War II. First, we look back to that momentous day a short while ago when British and Russians linked up near Weismar. The war was virtually over when this exciting event took place. How are you, sir? Okay. How are you, pal? You're one of Joe Stalin's soldiers, and I'm pleased to meet you. We've both come a long way together, and we've done Russian a good army, very happy to meet you. What does that mean? Very good. Yeah. What does that mean? Eh? What does that mean? How do I don't know. How do I? Well, we can't speak the lingo, but we can the same way together, can't we? Yes. Well, all the best, old man. I'm very, very glad to have met you. Very glad indeed. Благодарим вас за помощь, которую оказали вы нам в войне против гитлеровской Германии. Thank you very much. We don't understand the language, but we mean the same thing. Lüneburg Heath, Germany, May the 4th, 1945. In an old and tattered tent, there occurred the greatest battlefield surrender of this or any other war. The instrument of Germany's unconditional surrender was signed. Said Monty. If you don't agree, I shall go on with the war and be delighted to do so. But the Germans sat down, and having read out the terms of capitulation, Field Marshal Montgomery gave his orders. The German delegation will now sign this, uh, this paper, and uh, 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 they will sign in order of seniority, and uh, General Admiral von Friedeberg uh, will uh, sign first. <coughs> now, uh, General Kinsall will sign next. sign last. <clears throat> now I will sign the instrument on behalf of the Supreme Allied Commander, General Eisenhower. Seven clauses, and no mere scrap of paper. Clause two is tapped out by Morse, the signal for the ceasefire, which reads, all hostilities on land, on sea, and in the air by German forces to cease by 0800 hours. It's over for us, so just pack her up and hand it back to the quartermaster. Right. <laughs> right. Field Marshal Montgomery, fresh from his great triumph, sends a message to his troops. On this day of victory in Europe, I feel I would like to speak to all who have served and fought with me during the last few years, I would ask you all to remember those of our comrades who fell in the struggle. They gave their lives that others might have freedom, and no man can do more than that. I believe that he would say to each one of them, well done, thou good and faithful servant. 
we must remember to give the praise and thankfulness where it is due. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. It has been a privilege and an honor to command this great British Empire team in Western Europe. I thank each one of you from the bottom of my heart. And so, let us embark on what lies ahead, full of joy and optimism. We have won the German war. Let us now win the peace. Good luck to each one of you, wherever you may be. Cheers bridged the English chat. Britons, impatient for the official signal to celebrate, jumped the starting gun on Monday night when notice of capitulation waited upon Whitehall, Washington and Moscow. VEE began it, and for days afterwards, Londoners packed city streets and squares. The idea was to make a noise, and this is it. measured the crowds by the acre in this bubbling over of a nation's joy and thanksgiving. It had been a long wait for the chance to let off steam. So exuberantly did the people of Britain rejoice in victory that it would be impossible in this edition of our newsreel to picture it adequately. In our next issue, we plan to present the full and glorious story of Britain's greatest public holiday in celebration of peace in Europe.